Hi guys. I miss you guys a lot because it's my fourth time to be here. I, you find it strange I'm here because last few years I talk about China internet censorship, APT target attack from maybe from my country. So <laughs> this time I'm the follower of the Chief Tony and Ellen and another speaker. He's the policeman, maybe busy to get some criminals and cannot come to this place. It's pity, then I can't get the badge for him. But anyway, then we would like to talk about DDoS black and white kung fu today. Then it will be more than like bad things, okay? Like offensive thing, not the defense, not the selling of firewalls, selling IPS. We have no shit, no no tie and shit, okay? See, it's real, so, okay? Okay, let's start it. Um, I will come from the VXRL. This is not a commercial group, it's a long profit making group. And I'm Anthony, he's Tony, and Alan. This criminal, there's no national secrets. Please take a look over your labors, whether there's any looks like China, PLAs, then there's no secrets. And welcome to all national spies, Russian spies, Taiwanese spies, Germany spies, whatever, welcome. Just buy us, buy the secrets for him, then he will leave some secrets to you, okay, outside there. And no will attacks are launched before. Maybe after this talk, we don't know. <laughs> Please take it at your own risk because we can't save you from the jail because we are not the Batman, okay? <laughs> okay, we don't talk about, there's a really, a real good DDoS business in, in China and creates tech, tech assignments. You could simply go to the um, Google or Badu, you could simply search DDoS and QQ, you could get lots of contacts, but we are not going to talk about. You want to get a good business in China, please contact them. I'm not the agent, says it. Thank you very much. And we also don't talk about some DDoS groups, and this is quite evil, whoa, they talk about long term to have a DDoS business and also attack the site and different websites, porn sites, grambling sites, very comprehensive scope. Just call them QQ, 4317-314. But it's not our business. Okay, agenda today. <laughs> Members introduction. Tony is our chief. Actually, I'm also following him, and he is the expertise in the DDoS defense. Not attacker, right? Ah, yeah. Oh, attacker. Yeah, yeah, uh, defense, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's working in Nessus Guard, and also um, he's, he's always deal with a lot of daily attacks, and he needs to go to from work for defense side. He's very experienced, guys. And also for me, then I, do, I did a penetration test for reverse engineering, target attack analysis, and also the founder of this group in Hong Kong, and already spoke in Bret Hat, DEF CON, and, and AV Tokyo, Hack in Taiwan, and Code Gates in this area. And this year, I just shut my mouth and do some DDoS stuff. But next year, we will do APT again. Don't think we, we are some mission underground. And uh, also bring some money in the Taiwan CTF game as well. Okay, Alan is under fellows. Um, He's also worked for uh, in the network security for eight years, and he likes a lot of stuff. Buy him toys, buy him gadgets. He loves it, and but he specializes in firewall, IDS, IPS, and network security stuff. And also the captain, the Kelvin Wong, is the policeman, and as I said, he can't get the holidays from his supervisor and busy on those fucking reports. So. I'm sorry guys, but he is a real, a real, good, real good investigator because many DDoS investigation in Hong Kong police. Okay, let's start, the part one. Then we will talk about layer seven DOS vulnerability analysis and discovery. We have applied some several common layer seven, at, um, not attack, sorry, text technique methodologies like HTTP GET and POST request, HTTP pipelining and mail form HTTP request, and also manipulates HTTP and HTTP vulnerabilities. Not really complicated, but you need to sit down for part one and part two. You know what is the power behind. Okay, the techniques overview. Before attack, we need to find out the HTTP allowed methods and check whether sites 
accept post or other get methods because we test some sites. They simply just get have a support get method, but they could accept other methods and check out any resources, intensive function like searching function and any function related to the database retrieval. Check out any HTTP response with large payload returned from the request and check out any links with the large attachment including the document, PDF, media, media files, audio files and check out whether the HTTP response is cached or not and check whether chunk data in the HTTP response packet from the target is allowed. If you have your chunk data, that means you could do something funny like incomplete request. We have two attack combo. Anyone play Street Fighter? Yeah, yeah no Street Fighter? Then you're not United States, you're not Americans because from Capcom. I like it when I'm still very young here. Uh, okay. <laughs> then uh, there's a two combos of the attack. Not attack, test combo. <laughs> okay. We seek and manipulate the TCP and HTTP characteristic and vulnerabilities. First of all, find out any URLs with which accepts post, change the content length to some other numbers, for example, 999 or 999, whatever, but it accepts abnormal size bytes and see whether it keeps the collection alive. Afterwards, then we could check some TCP blah 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 time out value. I'm not Professor Lai, okay? I'm not going to get you back to the university. Please check out this value. For example, the TCP established state time out value, the first push arc time out, continuous arc time out, first fin wait one, last arc time out value, and wait for find arc, wait for reset arc, and wait for reset value. Why do we need this value? Because we could guess and learn the behavior of the device behind. Okay? We, um, Tony will brief it in the second part. His, his the speech is the main dish. All right? And what is the goal? So after that, we could calculate the resources could help to bring down the target and trace its detection, for example, through the weight limit and guess its DDoS mitigations and also submit an incomplete HTTP post packet attack to the end to the back end server to see whether we could do it in the post attack techniques. Combo two, manipulated and vulnerabilities due to poor server hardening. Okay. Why we need to do that? Because we want to see the target accept some simple HTTP request, uh, uh, HTTP request, just accept some simple HTTP request connection, including fields like host, connection, and success only. This is a four years pattern, but currently our survey in part one still find it some many good sites still accept it. But you find it, the, the problem is they don't check the cookie value, they don't check the referral value, and also they simply accept the user agent value, Mozilla slash 4.0, because this is widely used by the botnets already. Okay? If you don't use it, no heartening. Okay? This is also, we, in this combo, we also where to check you accept HD pipelining. It also fulfill the RFC standard, and you find each of the requests get request, they separate with double slash r, best slash r, best slash n. And also in this combo attack, we will utilize all HTTP requests, push arc, in the same packet with the size lower than 1,500 bytes. And to see whether HTTP requests in packet could be multiplied by seven times or more, please occupy and maximize our attack. Finding the large size packet data payload like picture and audio files which could not be cached and with authentication check like capture in advance. The goals of that is increased loading of server and CPU and memory usage, increase the bandwidth of consumptions. And see whether we could force to get a new session and connection without cache. Um, it, it could guarantee bypass load balancer and proxy. And for example, there's a two examples. There's a question mark the question mark behind the strings, then you could change a little bit, you could force the load balancer or force to get a new session instead of get the data from the cache. And also like the cache value set at no cache or expiry date set as the date long time before. This is the combo, like we use it, like use the simple get, it combines simple get, HTTP pipelining, and also the force log force and loading the cache. You find the red color, then it seems the, the string after the question mark is different every time to ensure it the ca load the, not load the cache. Okay, but we follow RFC all the time. Okay, 
appetizer. We are afraid of whether we could leave the United States after that. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Just kidding. We have tested 39 companies in the United States. They are our clients this time. Okay. I'm loving it. Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Delta, CNN, DHL, Cisco Systems, and Amazon. Oh, they recruit the people uh, in Brad Hat. Uh, you, could, you guys could, could go there. And the eBay's, okay. 39 targets. Why not 40? I don't know. <laughs> and it looks like we also test a CDN. Akamai. Any Akamai representative here? Okay. Yeah, because don't, don't get us as a sales, sales people, okay? <laughs> okay, the test summary. We only test their landing page only, okay? Um, there's a 26 out of 39 companies except simple get. And there's a 4 out of 39 ex companies except simple post without content length. And simply 5 of them just say method not allowed because they don't support post. But, and also there's a 17 out of 39 companies except simple post with content length. And also then about 34 out of 39 except HTTP pipelining. Looks like normal. Okay. But here you could find it like Visa card, Amazon, except simple get. Yeah, not big deal, looks like. And McDonald's, I hate it. <laughs> Every day I need to take McDonald's <laughs> here. <laughs> no meals for me. Sorry, then I, I guess I'm a lot of meals from the Starbucks. Okay. And they get, get the pipelining, they accept pipelining and give you the pictures. But if you go to McDonald's website, there's a lot of big size fresh. Okay. And also any, um, there's a, a property website. Is it Fenime? 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 They block me. It's a very good defense. Yeah. Just one of them, they broke my IP address. None of the others, they brought me. Okay. Uh, this is some payload. I prove it is um, the McDonald's with the pipelining and the simple post accepted by HP. HP, yeah. You get a lot of solutions from them. And also then, this is one is eBay, right? The eBay even, the simple get post don't accept any, they accept it, even there's a no content length. I appreciate it. Don't follow our FC. And also, network giant, uh, Cisco. Any Cisco representative here? Also, okay, no problem. And I simply change content length as I'm a shitcorps.com. Then Cisco.com accept yes. Response 200 code. Thank you very much. And the Google <laughs> response bad request. Why? Cisco, why? <laughs> you, you get the money for t shirt to bring it, make it this website don't accept content length, not invalid value. Please, I bet you. Thank you. <laughs> Summary Simple guests should be banned, right? We don't think they should accept content length and with invalid values. Okay, page does not support different methods. Don't support it. Check it out but after DEFCON, okay? And also, a few cops still this code is supporting methods. Are they really doing any basic security assessment Use it using some lessons, using some basic tools, okay? Um, this is very basic introduction, but this is a very important part for the next part, for the part two from, the, from Tony. Further, then we change a little bit for the content length, to another some 999 and 999, and we got dive into another case studies. Tony, Master Caprice, you like it? Thank you, Anthony. First of all, are you ready for Q? For my part, only Q and Q and Q and Q. How to Q the server? So first of all, we will go to the Master Card case. In here, we also uh, first of all we also use the simple get. In this case, we will see that we just use a very, very simple get in here. All in already present before. In here, we only have the host field, only have the asset field, only have the um, connection field, and then just post it. But you can see in here, still can reply from the Akama. Uh, I, find, I think the Akama can already have some little bit, uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, because, uh, after we pass the low balance, uh, he will help us to fill up all the HTTP fail. Why we need to use the simple get? Because we wish to pipelining. In here, uh, we have some rules for the pipelining. Uh, we are not attacker. 
So when you try to parallel piece, try to get the small, uh, small spiral. Don't try to, uh, in our example, you can see in here, we just send one get request. How many uh, reply in here? One, two, three, four, seven, six, seven. Have seven reply in here. If we try to get the HTTP 1.1, what will be happen? Give example, maybe for Nary, uh, HTTP 1.1 here, reply one map, already have seven map, we will reply in this case. The second rule, please don't try to um, get their database related application. Otherwise, the server already is no reply, and then you cannot see the result. You cannot like me and post in here. So in here, another thing you need to follow is here, you can serve with tap the question mark in here. Make sure no cache. And every time we need to pass to the backend server, make sure the backend server reply to us and use all their resources. So we also uh, prepare the Lotus for the MasterCard. Dear customer, for the improvement of our service, there's no capture and obligation. You can download all the things freely. In the screen, you can see that we can download the PDF, SWF, zip file freely. You no need to try to offend, no need to input the capture. You just wish download and then download. Please remember, don't try it in the pipeline. Otherwise, I don't know what will happen. Give example, maybe for every PDF file is one neck, so we will download every file in the same time. Uh, actually, every website, if they under DDoS attack before, they will not allow post method. In this case, we will see that the simple post is not allowed. So is, is we need to give up for this case, we already see a, just a little bit website, they allow the simple post, so we gave up? No. We have advanced post method in this case. Uh, in here, you just see in here, maybe it's not clear in the screen. For every website, they have um, Twitter service. This one is hidden, you cannot see it. You will not directly post something, you need to fill in something and then post this, never. Can I ask a question? How many website um, he haven't the uh, 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 triple service? Can I know this one? Or, or I use another question. Uh, is maybe my pronunciation is not correct? Any uh, website they haven't triple service now nowadays? In this case, we can we can find that we still can use the advanced post method try to. Uh, attached to the server. Because in our case, you only need to remember two things. First of all, he allowed post method. The second thing, we will hold the TCP established status over the two minutes. Uh, after my slide, uh, maybe you didn't understand what's going on is happening, but at least you will learn it how to, because in the part we try to show your guys how to attack this cheaper service. Uh, again, I hate cookies. I hate post data. In this example, you can see that we just try to simplify the post because uh, if I'm the zombie, I cannot have a unique cookies for every request in our case. So we will try to remove the cookies always. And other things, I also hate the post data because if the, uh, the request is too long, the result will be like that. I cannot pile <laughs> So in this case, you will see that we will remove, we will use the content length 99999 in this case as the result. Because after the poll, after we use the content length 99999, the result will be like that. Um, the server, he will, he will waiting for the coming, because this one already is the uh, computer, uh, in computer request, so we're waiting for the next, data, as a result, you no need to type anything in here. So as a result, you can see in here, we no need to any post data. So very simple, and post in here. So another very important question, can us bypass the account? Because every attempt, for the powerful attack, you need to bypass all the system and then hit the backend server directly. So in this case, uh, if I try to show you some evidence and then I, when I come back to Hong Kong, I think I already will be fired. But don't worry, I have another point of view to try to show, uh, show your guys how to, uh, to prove it, can you bypass or not. By the defense point of view, 
the low balancer and policy, he will forward all the incomplete HTTP requests. Because for every incomplete HTTP request, because uh, they will uh, come to one, two, three, four, and then the last one he will combine together. And then the low balancer will try to add the field. As a result, all the low balancer will forward all the incomplete HTTP requests. The second thing, if they have something drop the incomplete request, we have two cases. The case one is the security device try to interrupt the incoming traffic after the Akamai, and then he will send the reset to the back to the server. If just like that, the result will be like that. Just go back in here. If it really send the reset to the backend server, the backend server will close the correction sequentially. As a result, we never receive the add traffic from the Akama. We never receive the HTTP 302 from the Akama. So it's impossible. Another case is that the security uh, device will try to send the reset and we send it to the client. Just me. But in here, you see that we haven't received any reset ad. So is it bypass the Akama? I think you need to ask the Akama guy. I didn't know. Uh, we never test the post method on DOD website. We didn't know. Don't ask us. We wish to leave America. <laughs> we never. Uh, any guys know HKEX in here? HKEX. At least one guy know it. Very good. If you go to Google, you just search HKEX and DDoS. The first one you see is that Hong Kong trading handled by DDoS. What's the mean by all the stock market in the Hong Kong stopped? At the same time, we also we will not uh, try to uh, have testing on their website. We didn't know this page is the advanced search is used for post method. I have some, exp uh, have some explanation in uh, behind slide, this one. So this one, is, this one make, me, make me very sad. Why? Because uh, we suggest the attack pattern will be like that. This one is the existing attack pattern. We have the host field, access field, access language, access, uh, including all the things. But when we try to test the uh, pattern in the US, we found that oh, just the simple pattern already can pass. So we have no chance to use this one. So in here, we, try to, uh, we will try to show the demo. After the demo, because uh, for this demo, we try to uh, just like the workshop, all the guy can join the DDoS attack. Uh, first of all, uh, in this session, we try to prove uh, in our part one how we can work in. First of all, our attack server is very, I think all the guys can do this one. Just the batch of five, 500 Mac RAM and two CPU. Any guy cannot do this one? I think you can ask the guy next to you, like, hey, I help you. For the web server, the rhythm, we use the Windows Server 2008 R2 with IS 7.5, only have a test web page. The, te the web page of test, no database. No application. It's a hardware PC. Maybe our research team will say this one is very hard to kill. For our attack target, we will try to start the TCP status to code space in the uh, server. For the second demo, we will try to uh, start finish ray one in the server. For the last one, all the correction is TCP established state in the server. Uh, for our attack goal, we will try to cause the server unstable for the demo one. For the demo two, we will try to um, kill the service in a minute. For the last one, the server will kill in a second. After that, you will learn how to do it. It's never easy. So just uh, before the demo, I need to share something. First of all, we are in the uh, one byte equal to eight bit. Why we are use this one? Because in the network world, we use bit per second. But in the window, you only can see byte per second, so it was so sad. For the demo one, we will turn around 21 megabit per second at head. For the demo two, we turn 10.4 megabit per second. Per second. For the demo three, we will turn uh, around the attack is 8 megabit per second. So let me show the demo. I cannot bring the hardware to here to show you guys, so only can use the video. Uh, when the attack is coming, we, the symptom is never easy to find. You can see that first of all, the CPU is never high. There's no change on the memory. Only CPU never high, never high, never high. Keep constant in the 100%. It's the demo one. The symptom is high CPU. And if we try the connection state, oh, it's cold sway, cold sway, cold sway, cold sway. If we try to access the website, use the local host in here.
still can access. We vary the cache, so we use the you uh, use the new string. Try again. Still can access. So f for the demo one, only high CPU. Just need to be impact to the service. Any guys have experienced that? Always high CPU. Your our server. Hmm. That means. At two possibilities. First of all, you have fun fine tune your app, have fun hardening your server value. The second one is that maybe you need to uh, change the new server. So we go to demo two. Because, because the demo one, I just showed the common DDoS attack last two years, not the existing now. For the second attack, uh, when the attack is come, you will see that the CPU will increase. Also, it's 100%. But this time, it's a little bit, little bit different to the demo one. You will find that the memory also will increase. The memory. If we check the network status, already start, nothing to see. It's impossible. You will see all is finished way one in this case. Any guys have the, this problem in your server? Finish way one, always finish way one in your web server. And then it's maybe interesting, la, the CPU and the, and the memory are just like that, a curve, up and down, up and down, and up and down. If you try to access your website, just see, see it. Sometimes can access. In this example, I think you always can access. La. But at last, You will see a very interesting message. Remember, I use the local host first of all. Secondary, it's no application, it's no database. Service available. Any guys have this this kind of a problem in your web server? I think all the guys haven't DDoS before, if like that. If you have problem, that means you haven't the very good um, network security device, or you have the very good network uh, network security device, but you didn't know how to fine tune. Here is the last one. The last demo is very easy to understand. You just see two pit, pit in. I have the PIT in CPU and PIT in the memory. In this case, you will see that just have a PIT, but this time the CPU will not 100%, just half. But the memory, we can see that it's increased very fast. The free memory now only have five. After the PIT, the memory drop. If we try to check the correlation state, all is established, established, and TCP established. You can see that the attack traffic already stopped. I will show you in the uh, coming slide why the attack traffic is stopped in here. If we try to access the website from the local host, service error in application, nothing to see anymore. Always is 503. But you still can connect to uh, Terra to the uh, port 80. But the point is that you cannot access the service anymore. And then the memory will do is uh, keep it. 700 in this time, because all is keep on the established status. So anyone know how to resume this kind of the problem? You, you remember the case before? You have two situations, you can have two choices. The first choice, you wait for two minutes, if the master card, and then we release, but you remember that it is keep ongoing. The second way is very easy. I think always, we always do this one, uh, if under the DDoS attack. Just restart the service and then release the memory. Otherwise, he never uh, come on, come on again the server. Most uh, all the period of this attack just a pit. It's, uh, it's include the sec, uh, 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 fifteen a second. Anyone have this kind of experience? The server suddenly uh, the memory is up and totally down. Don't worry, you will have many soft uh, experience later on after this talk because I will try to teach you all guys how to do this one. <laughs> I'm, uh, again, I'm not a attacker, okay? I just analyzed some case, yeah. Don't lie, man. <laughs> I have a slide, I never attack. You have evidence I attacked before? 
Hey. Uh, first of all, we need to know the theory and idea behind the demo, uh, demo one to three. First of all, don't focus on HTTP method. We are not talking about get fraud, fraud, not fraud, post fraud, head fraud, many, many different fraud. If we try to use a layer seven attack, just like the demo one, demo one is the most poor idea because we only high CPU and unstable. Secondly, we are not try to use the DOS attack to the OS and programming language. Those attack is against the kind of the OS. Give an example, Apache Cura. Anyone know Apache Cura in here? There we go. Lah. You any, any, anyone know the hash Cura? Kill the PHP uh, website. We are not trying to because in our uh, presentation we are focused on the protocol. Our attack is because of TCP and HTTP, they mix together. We try to kill, make uh, TCP and HTTP killer. Any, any server, web server in the world is not use HTTP and TCP, anyone can tell me? If you have this one, let me know, I try to kill it. Oh no, no, I'm not attacker again. <laughs> so the key of the one is that we are focused on TCP state. It's TCP state. Don't try to ask me, ah, how come your GetFat is very powerful? No, I'm not used to the GetFat. I'm not used to the PostFat. Give example. In here, we use the HTTP as an example to control the TCP state. I will show you how to control it. After this one, maybe you not, don't understand. No, don't worry, just follow. You can do it. In our case, uh, we, we, use, uh, we cause the TCP and HTTP together and then we cause the vulnerability. First of all, give example, because the server, we reserve the resources for different TCP state. Give example, the same layer seven FUD to different target can different TCP state. What's the meaning? Actually, for demo one and demo two, we all is use the get FUD. But the result you can see is different. The first one just high CPU, the second one up, down, up, down, no service. Why? Because we try to control the TCP status. The last one is that the TCP state is uh, a test depends on the web application. Don't tell me that the disk driver can work in uh, Mastercard but cannot work in the Visa. Tony, you are lying. No, you need to learn it. You need to. The key is based on the reply of the server. Give example: when the server send back the finish ad, we said. We said add HTTP 200, HTTP 302, something like that. It depends on the web server. Many times, for different case, we have different situation. Anyone is not understand? Don't worry, I have a logical diagram to explain to you. <laughs> uh, for this diagram, you can see that we will try to use the super combo period. Every time the super combo period. The super combo period just equal to HTTP request. How you can do it? In here, we try to analyze uh, three things. For the demo one, uh, you remember, if you remember, it's cold way status or the TCP state. The second one is TCP finish way one. The last one is TCP established. We will try to analyze each by each. I will show you the program how to do it. It's very easy. First of all, you need to learn the RFC. Don't worry, let me easy. Because you only need to know the one thing is the passive calls in the right hand side, have active calls in left hand side. For the first demo, we just focus on the passive calls. From the RFC, this one is very important. The calls where we present the result, the re <laughs> it's easy. To understand, in this state, it's just use little bit resources in your web server. In the demo one, you just try to simulate the most common DDoS attack. You can download in the website. Don't need to use my one. <laughs> this one is very easy. Um, for this kind of the attack, just high CPU, unstable status. If you are attacker, I'm sorry, I'm not attacker again. Huh? For the SLA for the attack, attack also have SLA, you know it. <laughs> you will fail, you will no money. Because if you cannot bring down the server, that means you are failed. So how come you have the money? Give example, my Hagner server, he just like the robots, I can handle around 200,000 connections, around 500 HTTP requests per second. Never how to bring down, I already show you in the, in the demo. But if we have more server, give example, with 10 million of the uh, zombie is still working. But in the other world, zombie equal to money. 
Anyone know the price in China for the zombie? I will not tell you because I'm not a tech car. <laughs> For the demo one, I will say that because as the point of view of the defense are, because I'm working for defense, DDoS, anti-DDoS, just like, like punch, let me use the defense. That's why I asked the question, if uh, you have the, the demo one situation, that means you haven't hardened your server well. You haven't, the, most of the level device already can do it very well for this kind of the attack. Let me show you. This one is the dummy addition. All the guy can do it. First of all, don't laughing on my Python programming. I'm not programming guy. I, we need the programming guy. <laughs> um, the key of this program is very easy. Don't do something while late the RFC. All is for RFC. You can download the same things in the Python, <laughs> Python uh, user guide. <laughs> Just a very simple get. We will close the connection after. First of all, we try to st uh, we start the TCP dump, the memory, uh, 500 megabyte, uh, I haven't lied, uh, we have no IP table in this case. First of all, we try to send the, res uh, send the request. In here, in here, we found that the finish is sent by the client to the server. After that, the correction will be reset. So if we check the uh, state in our client, it's nothing. Is no connection, nothing. Let me show you, we still can access the web server. We are not lighting. <laughs> so let me try to join the attack. First of all, we need to change the for loop. And start the attack, just two for, just two for loop in this case. I only use two for loop. And then we will see the client have many finish wait time too. In the, at, in the server, you can see, just focus on the sending traffic. We are not concerned the receive traffic. It's around 20 megabit per second traffic is sending out. 2.5 is the megabyte, it's not megabit. In here, you can see that the server still can access sometime, not always. Sometimes it's 5.0 feet, sometimes I'm back end server, sometimes cannot, sometimes can. Just unstable. So the key of the growth for the demo one is very easy. Like just send the finish at first and don't do anything. Because this one is all, it's very common uh, normally. For the demo two, we try to keep the status in the finish rate one. Now we move the passive calls to active calls in here. So first of all, we need to understand RSI. We try to explain in here. But after that, I think that all will become the same, something like that. <laughs> in here, I just wish to show out that the, fin uh, the stay from finish way one to close correction is never far away. <laughs> the key, only one word. Uh, first of all, uh, the finish way one is never hard to find. So it depends on the OS, depends on your uh, application, not application, it depends on OS only. La. The time of normal is around 60 seconds. Anyone can tell me how to find to the finish way one in here, you, or, you knew, or you know how to find to this one? Because normally we find to the uh, TCP parameter is TCP, uh, no, sorry, this one is the uh, uh, TCP finish way two, and the uh, close way, not finish way one. If you wish to change this one, you need to change the program, the kernel. And the second thing is that dur during the uh, finish way one, client still can receive the data. That means not totally close in this case. In here, the server will allocate the resource to handle the web service for this case. Web server will keep holding the resources. In our, in our uh, demo, we try to overflow during the attack for this case. Let me show you. This one is home make addition. Uh, you remember we always say that we need to try to control the TCP use the HTTP. First of all, we are use the correlation calls, not correlation key alive, correlation calls. Secondly, we will try to um, force the server to send the finished app back to us. Just send the sample packet to see the difference. 
we start the dumping. Ah, in this one, we need to change a little bit in the IP table because we don't wish to use the uh, Linux, uh, change the Linux uh, kernel module. In this, we will set two rules, finish add and reset with job. When we try to send this one, you will see that sync, sync add, add, push add. After this one, the server, he didn't any reply. This time, he didn't use the push add. He used the finish push add. Anyone know what is the finish push add? I will explain later, don't worry. And after he sent the finish push ad many times ago, it's no response from the server side, uh, current side, and then he will send the reset ad and close the connection in this time. Again, you can see many finish push ad in this time. Let me finish push ad just equal to HTTP 200, 200, I mean. Now we try to join the attack in this case. Uh, you can see that we only send around one megabyte. That means eight megabit per second attached to the server. We try to we try to access the server again. No response. Already killed. It. Again, no response. Maybe have respond. I'm forgotten. <laughs> from the attack from the attack. Period. You can see that around around 30 seconds, the server already done. We, again, the server only have the test page. The test only is no web service. If no database. The key for our goal is try to check the first finish at finish wait time out value and we set up time out value. Uh, maybe in the part one, Anthony already said, ah, oh, we have many, many things to check. In here, we should show you why we need to check this value. In this example, I will try to, uh, you can see that after the freeway handshake, we send the, uh, we send the request. After we send the request, the server will reply the HTTP 200. But we haven't any reply. As a result, the the website will try to uh, reply to us again, 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 and again. At last, is no response. Anyone know what is mean by HTTP 200? Give example. I try to get a picture. is around five megabit per second. No, five megabyte. The result with that because I haven't replied the server, and then and then I change the uh, correction calls in our request. The result will be that I use one request. The server replied seven times six times or ten times to us. What does it mean by, give example, maybe some of the uh, company, they only have 50 megabit per second. For this case, I only use one request. You need to reply me seven times. If I use the pipeline in here, what will happen? The server need to reply me around 35 times. Remember, we use the correlation calls. We use the correlation calls to control the TCP state for this one. The last one is the TCP established state. This one is not related to calls or not calls already. You, this one we will try to explain the uh, attack before, the pause and hold the two minute, remember, on the MasterCard. From the RFC, this one is very easy to understand. Uh, this one is uh, during the, uh, the TCP established state uh, between the server and client, he will try to send and receive the data between that. In here, in this status, uh, it is an active connection. Secondary, server, server will allocate a lot of resources to handle the web service and web application. For the, because the timeout of the TCP established state is never long, uh, at, as I know, at least it's uh, 3,600 3, seconds. Because this one cannot to shop, give example, I playing the game, I beat something. Uh, and then I'm hungry, maybe I'm, uh, I need to go to the restaurant, and then when I come back, oh, I'm not out. So for this one, uh, normally the TCP established state is very long, first of all. And if you try to compare to other TCP state, this case will use most of the resources in the server. Based on the design of the HTTP method, we can force the server to use more resources. Give example, in our one, we use the famine and incomplete packet continuously. Give example, uh, we use HTTP post method and continents 9999. 
just like the MasterCard case, anyone think that you can kill the MasterCard in one minute? Use the VM machine. I haven't do it, you can POC, but don't tell me the result. <sighs> Again, we are not used the post fund. Gaffer also can do the same thing. Give example, uh, we, uh, we can use HTTP get method with the packet size over 1500 without slash r slash n slash r slash n. As a result, both of them is the incomplete HTTP request. The server will be waiting for you. The timeout actually is depends on the application and server. Maybe 50 seconds, 5 minutes, 10 minutes or more. For master case, master card case is around 2 minutes. Because we saw some example, it's around 30 minutes. I don't know why I have the patient to wait for him. Uh, maybe some of the guys in Nixon, uh, Nixon the, uh, the top before about the, the, in the DEF CON about the Soros. In here, we try to explain the difference between the Soros and our demo free. The Soros is trying to extend the TCP establish only one connection. Only one connection. Uh, just like the demo in here, uh, the resources just like the, the ground in here. The HTTP request, we just try to dig a hole. For the slowers, he's just after he dig a hole, he try to fill in the water slowly, slowly, because he wished to extend the extend the connection. He didn't wish to close the connection. All the time is a TCP established. For our demo fee, our course is very easy. First of all, we find out the timeout. Within the timeout, we create, uh, we will, uh, and then uh, the second thing we need to find out is how deep of the hole we can dig. At last, we just take the whole crazy like that. Let me show you the demo. This one is very simple also. Uh, we will not use this program because we will kill the server very fast. We just use one for loop for this case. First of all, we have two methods to do this one. First of all, we can use the time slip. Use the time slip, we will be established together between the server and client. It's no good. We use the IP table. Just drop the packet. And then, uh, because from our side, we just keep the correction in finish way one. Normally, we can, we can do it by, uh, by kernel module and then easy. But I wish to all the guys can do this one in your home. All your guys can do this one in your home. So, first of all, we try to send a sample packet. I will, I will use this for loop to do this one because if uh, I parallel with two for loop, we will kill two, maybe faster. You cannot see any difference. Just see I kick and then server down. Nothing to see. So we capture in here. Uh, again, we have we need three uh, IP table. We draw the finish app. We draw the reset. We draw the reset. If you use the, if you change the TCP uh, in the kernel mode, you don't need to change anything. But I wish all the guy can do it in your home. Let me try to show you what is happening. Uh, after the fear hash, TCP is established. In this case, we will send the push ad. After the push ad, the server will reply the ad, and then nothing will happen anymore. And the whole correction. Remember how, many, how long is the timeout for the master card? Two minutes. This time, we try to um, use the loop to join the attack. This one is the request I sent per second. You just see that we just send a little bit traffic to the current side. It's no more than 8K, 8K bit per second. But the current side already done. Not done, uh, just unstable uh, in the beginning. You can see that. You remember, the current side, the server side is the test page only. It's no application, no database. Because if I try to add, attack the database, too fast. After a few minutes, no few minutes, a few seconds, uh, already, uh, already 6,000 requests. The service is unavailable. Remember the HTTP 503 in this case? We, we, if, uh, I'm not trying to attack the layer 4. We still can tell it to the server. The one I kill is the memory pool because of the TCP and the make it together. As a result, I kill the web server. This one is red on Apache, IS, all of the things. It depends on how many memory is set in your pool. It's not the layer 4 attack. It's called layer 4 and layer 7 together, this one. After I stop the attack, I try to access again. No longer to access anymore. Depends on your, actually it depends on the timeout. If the, uh, the timeout you set to two minutes, the result is that in these two minutes, your server always no respond, no respond, no respond, and no respond. You, you can imagine, maybe uh, I'm working in the uh, stock market, 
suddenly in the peak hour, stop up. After you wake up again, I stop again, like that. We always see this one. The key for the goal is uh, we need to check the TCP established timer warning. The TCP continue at timer warning and the finish at. Uh, what is the TCP established timeout? In this case, we, uh, we just do the free handshake. The TCP is established already, and then we do nothing, and just pray for the reply from the server. In this case, we can see that the server, uh, after uh, two minutes, he will reply to us. Just imagine, if we use this two minutes to gen many, many uh, free handshake and push at in the same second. By experience, all the core router, your DHP router, IPS, WAF, WAF, FAW, all will be done. Not done, uh, just be put. Uh. But we are not trying to discard the layer for attack in here. The second thing we will check is the timeout at timeout value. This one is never easy to understand because you remember the master case, master card case in here, I just show you the same things. Why we check the timeout? Because we need to know the time. How many times we can trigger the attack? And how many times, because we need to calculate, a key calculate, how many, because our zombie is never expensive, so we need to calculate the most little bit zombie we use and then have the same effect. Um, the other thing we will try to do is the TCP continuous at timer value tool. For this one, we just, uh, just like the slower was what he's doing now. In here, we can see that uh, we try to, uh, this one is the HK something now. I don't know, I'm forgot uh, this one. We just try to, uh, you can see in here, we, uh, after we push add, we cut the post data in fill part. Because this one, uh, the server will try to check your content, so you cannot fill in the other things. Uh, something I'm forgotten. First of all, this one is the fake IP you see before. Trust me. But he can do the fill hash. I don't know why. Because HK's IX, EX already spent, I don't know how many million dollars to rebuild that DDoS solution and fix all the problem. Ah, and again, I, another fault. I forgot to fill in the cookies, referral, correct post data. Just fill in some rubbish. Uh, in this case, we found that this is international low security standard over the world. All the, I don't know why all the <laughs> website will be like that. <laughs> so the attack conclusion for our demo one to three, um, all the attacks, uh, the signature-based detection cannot be used for because uh, we can randomize all the HTTP field. Secondary, our attack is customized for each attack individually. For example, uh, the content length is depends on the app application. Why we use 9999999? Just laughing to them. The last one is the uh, rate limit for uh, any security detects. Uh, uh, we will need to know the rate limit. If your IP is broader, your zombie is broader, it's nothing to do. It's so sad. Uh, we also need to confuse the device, just look, uh, look like the real HTTP request. Give example, if all the traffic, just the attack traffic, just like the real traffic, how you can do? If you drop me, all is false positive. Remember, we use DDoS, demo one, two, three can work together in the same time. Remember to gender the same file because this one can confuse the lock. We also have many demos that cannot show in here because use this method, we can do it in the online game. Give example, Diablo, oh no. Online game, don't try to kill Diablo. And then uh, we can also we can try to kill some uh, trading application because they also use a TCP, HTTPS, Angular, Pay Shop, always use the same thing, but we have no time to, take, to talk about this one. Uh, for Actually, for the POC of the uh, demo one to three, we just show you the POC, the analysis result, how it can impact to the part one. Just remember, how many web server have cheap, 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 uh, cheap service? So we already have the quick web point. We also need a big soldier. I think I need to uh, live it faster. In this one, uh, the, the, uh, the attack server and web server is the same. For the attack goal is we try to empower a client they without establish any connection. Oh, I cannot show this one. Give an example in here. Uh, we try to uh, show the attack server resources. In here, attack server join, main, join the attack. In the current side, we will see main established connection in here. But in attack side, it's nothing. We have any connection. No time to show the demo, otherwise I can show you the code. Uh, for the attack server feature, because this one is decided uh, attack server, so you can launch attack against multi-target. Give an example, I can attack Mastercard, Visa, all the server in the same time. Because the only thing I use is CPU and memory. 
uh, is all available for layer 7 at tab map force. All the fraud can be used. All, and our target is that all the written will start in the TCP established status. Uh, we also have many different kinds of the combo. Give example, you can use the attack server and attack server with the same cookies, same cache, all the things. So the summary is that you just imagine if we use the technique in the part two in tab one, what will, what will this the company, the American will happen? So uh, we will uh, time to tell upon talking about the defense model. This one is designed for my final year project actually, but I still didn't know the score. Uh, here I show many existing D DDoS mit uh, mitigation kind of measure. But the truth is that the application level attack, not the attack sent by me, all is bypassed. You need to, you will suffer every time. Whatever which uh, vendor you use. Because give example for every day, maybe the attack at least for each IP is 10 gig. Uh, after that, the correction maybe if you don't try to do anything, is over 1 million. It's 1 million per second. So, and the attack pattern is changing every 15 seconds. The attack keep a continuous 7 hours per day. <laughs> So we always have a dream. We have we wish to design some uh, application gateway with the low browser group, have a customer filter. We can use the script. Give example, just like the iRules, AVIX in the F5 in the A10. We know we just we no need to use the capture to the uh, to the application. The use because we use the capture before the customer just see what what happened. What the hell is you headed the website? The best thing is that all the zombies die. <laughs> So I leave to Aaron. He will try to show the design model for our application gateway. As a time as warning, I will using 30 seconds to explain my part. Uh, we will using a Apache to set up a application gateway to handle the layer 7 DDoS. And we will also apply the layer 7 freeway handshake to, to prevent the DDoS. And the further detail I will explain in the Q&A section. And also uh, we our gateway to have the server method to handle the HTTP get, post, or the connection flood. We can also apply to all layer 7 protocol, not just only the HTTP. And in this phase, we will, uh, if the traffic cannot be redirect, we will drop it. And most of the zombie cannot redirect the traffic. And if the traffic is uh, uh, allowed, we will pass it to the phase 2. In the phase 2, we will also uh, check the HTTP field with failure. If this is success, we will pass it to the phase 3. In the phase 3, we will uh, set the IP to the whitelist. And we will have several mode to deploy the gateway. And several method to also place the gateway in the best location. And in the future, we will also integrate it with the IDS IPS firewall or the also develop the API for the client to develop the customized code. And finally, we will also implement the backlist. Thank you for your attention. Um, sorry, guys, because we are squeezing the co three topics into 15 minutes. Actually, this is a two hours topic. We were there in the FAQ room. And also, I'm so thankful to Tony and Alan. They're a first time speaker in DEF CON. And I have the responsibility to bring them there because I come from a money city, low technology, Hong Kong city. But I'm very proud of you, you guys, attend to our talk. And non life DEF CON. Thank you very much. <laughs>